Good morning, guys. I'm kicking off today's video making my coffee with you just because there is so many good coffee things out right now for the holidays. So the first thing I did was just brew a Nespresso Raspberry Pod. You guys know I've talked about these before. This flavor is absolutely amazing. Even if you don't think you like raspberry, give it a try because I feel like it's subtle enough, but it's just really, really good. So I just brewed that with my Nespresso machine. And then for coffee and whipped cream today, I'm gonna be using this brown butter chocolate chip cookie. This is almost done, guys. This is amazing. I was just sharing this with my friend and she also thought it was great. It is the perfect amount of like the brown, like brown sugar butter flavor, but also it tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. So I'm gonna be using this for creamer. And then my newest find for my little coffee setup is this Target Favorite Day Gingerbread Whipped Dairy Topping. This whipped cream is really good. I feel like it's a very subtle gingerbread. It's not overpowering, which is how I think all of these things work so well together. But this one's good. And I saw they also had a peppermint one that I wanna try next. And then I think just a classic vanilla. There was another one I'm forgetting. Maybe it was actually pumpkin. I think they still had that stuff out. But it is a very Christmas themed day today. I'm going to start decorating the house. And I figured I would take you guys along with me, which as you guys know, always starts with some coffee. So I like to just take these tumblers. These are from Walmart. They sell them at Target though, Amazon. I would really like some cool ones for the holidays with like Cricut vinyl on them. Maybe that'll be my next project, but they hold my coffee really well, especially when I'm making these for the work days. I feel like I show those in all my videos. They're so easy. So we're just gonna get this coffee made and then I can catch up with you guys. I can do it one over. Yum. Cheers. Okay, now that I have my coffee, I can catch up with you guys. So pretty much, I am actually just getting home for the weekend. I went away on a girls weekend, a little crafting trip. My work does one and I think there was like 17 or 18 of us and essentially you just work on projects all weekend long. So I brought my Cricut, I got a lot of stuff done for my bachelorette party, which I will show you guys when it gets a little closer in a few months because I don't want my bridesmaids to see, but I also was able to make some Christmas projects, which I was so excited about. And I felt like I just learned from a lot of other people there. A lot of women came with their crickets. So it was cool to see like the projects they're doing and wedding stuff. And it was just so much fun. It was at Jiminy Peak Resort in Massachusetts, if you guys are familiar with the area. And we had a huge conference room. So you literally could just wake up, get breakfast, go for a walk work on your projects, and then we drank and we ate all night and it was just a very wholesome trip. So now that it is Sunday, I just got home this morning and I kind of unpacked and I wanna decorate for Christmas. I feel like now that I worked on my projects all weekend, I am ready to get the house done. So right when I got home, I put away the fall stuff finally. I had some last minute Halloween decorations to put away and I just wanna clean up the house. I like to do a good like vacuum mop session before I put all of the Christmas stuff out just because it is a lot. So I'm going to drink my coffee, but I want to show you guys the projects that I made this weekend because I feel like for me, I'm not very crafty and they came out pretty good. So I made these nutcrackers from Michael's. They come totally blank solid wood, which their faces are. I kept them that way because I feel like it was a cute neutral, but I am really obsessed. Like I said, I am not a very crafty person. And after watching TikTok, I feel like I made these really cute. So I just did paint um, the... Nutcrackers are from Michaels. I saw this on TikTok of people taking this sparkly bejeweled beading and I put them around the crowns. And then when I did the guy, I had enough for his cuffs, which was super cute. I'm really obsessed. I did this one, lots of pinks, purples, and girliness. But then I also left some of the elements of the neutral natural wood. And I thought that worked really well. I don't have a lot of colorful decor. I feel like I have a lot of classic Christmas stuff. So I wanted to make some modern ones, which brings me into my next project that took a really long time is this front door sign. So also from Michael's, I guess the theme for my house this year is nutcrackers and Christmas trees, but I ended up doing him a really pastel pretty color as well. All the paints from Michael's, you guys see I took that um, little bejeweling here and I put that on his crown and then lots of gold paint for accents, but I am obsessed. I think he'll look really cute by the road, especially next to my stained wood 
welcome sign and I feel like it's just something very different than I normally do in my house. But those are my projects. Going through my Christmas stuff that was upstairs. One of my grandmas got me this stuff last year that I didn't use. Um, I got it after Christmas. So I'm realizing I have more hand towels than I thought. It looks like she gave me some placemat things I have to go through and this really cute bowl with, it looks like some Ray Dunn science. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> but I'm kind of going through this stuff, but I want to show you guys what I have in my boxes. And my other grandma actually got me something cute, which I will grab and show you guys. It is very special. So this one is such a thoughtful, special gift. This was actually my grandma's and she mailed it to me so that I could have my very own. My mom has one and they are from Hallmark, I think in the early 2000s. But essentially these little snowmen sing Christmas songs and they move on a sleigh. And I feel like this was just a really big piece of my childhood. And it was so thoughtful, Grandma, if you were watching this. Thank you so much. I am so excited to have this tradition in my house. And it's just one of those things that's so thoughtful. I love them. And I knew my mom was not going to give me hers. So that was really sweet that my grandma sent me um, hers. But again, I think this is from Hallmark many, many years ago. I feel like definitely over 20 years ago. But these are adorable. And I am so excited to incorporate this in my Christmas decor this year. I think my best game plan now is to just get all of the stuff picked up in the house. Um, I keep all of our seasonal decor in a shed in our backyard. So we do have room in the garage, but I dedicate the entire shed to all of my seasons. I put them in boxes and I label them. So I need to get the Halloween fall stuff out in the sheds, get to the Christmas stuff, and essentially clean everything in the house. I decorate each room. I will bring you guys along with me for as much as I can. I think I'm gonna make two videos with this. I wanna do vlogging for this video, like behind the scenes of today. And then I wanna do a video that's completely dedicated to decorating. I take decorating very serious. I got a lot of stuff last year and I feel like I've been accumulating things. Um, I actually have three Christmas trees, which I think I've told you guys before is pretty insane. But I'm excited to get it all out. But for now, let's get the house cleaned up so that we have a fresh sleep to work with. Okay, now that the house is clean, I just took out my first three boxes and bags. And honestly, guys, I forgot I had this much stuff. So I love going through my boxes and just kind of seeing what I bought last year or the year before um, and where I plan on putting them in the spaces. So Target was a really big success for me last year. I have a ton of these ceramic homes with glitter on them. And we have lots of stuff as well from a TJ Maxx and Home Goods. That is a majority of where my things are from um i forgot i have all of this garland i do garland up the stairs which we can get done today i've got this really nice one that i used to put on the mantle i'm not sure where i'm going to put it this year but it has lights in it and if we keep going wow i have so much i forgot i have these bells i put on the windows these are from i believe target i think if i'm right lots of metallics and then this is usually like my favorite side of the things. I showed you guys in the home goods haul. I told you I had something similar to that box. And here she is, so beautiful. This one's actually from Hobby Lobby, I think. And then this right here. I know I have a lot of these. So I'm excited to do metallics again. And Target Dollar Spot was awesome. The past two years, I feel like. I have a lot of these great signs for my entertainment center. Um, lots of greens and whites, you guys will see, is kind of the theme. But if I can get past those bells. Um, the Target dollar spot was a huge ski theme last year. So I have lots of cute ones. I usually put those in the basement. And I'm kind of forgetting how much I bought, guys. Cute little sleigh. These were a really good deal, though, like $5. You guys will see. So if you're looking for fillers, definitely check out Target. But I have a ton of signs. So let me set up the tripod and I will go through this with you guys. Before we get going though, first matter of business is putting on a Christmas movie. I feel like I showed you guys this when I was looking for Halloween movies. Just a general search and then see what we have on the apps. I love a classic Santa Claus, but I think we're going to maybe do... These are also good. We just watched Christmas with the Cranks the other day. I'm kind of feeling... You know what? Let's start Santa Claus. That's a good classic to watch when you're decorating. 
and now I definitely feel like it is Christmas time. I wanted to talk about pillows too because Target has really great pillows and so does Home Goods. I like to switch the pillows out on the couch for the different seasons. So this one is just an all is bright. This was I think $15 at Target last year. I do the living room a lot of red so this is very fitting. And then some other ones, I have to lint roll. I guess I didn't do that last year, but in oversized plaid, I would like to get another one of these because I like these on the master bedroom bed, but it's nice and soft. And then this one is my favorite. This was again, a Target collection, but I like the pinks on it. I usually put this in the guest room on the bed, but I like that the back is Sherpa and it really overall fits the theme. So if you guys are looking for pillows, definitely check out Target because I feel like each year they have really good ones and they also have a dollar spot ones I have found. So when I find those in my box, I will share those with you. Okay, so going through, I try to keep similar things together in these boxes, but that doesn't always work out because I feel like uh, I get a little messy when I put things away. But first thing being is I have a lot of pink stuff for my office. So the first one being this awesome little pink Christmas tree from Hobby Lobby that my coworker got me last year. This is the cutest thing ever. I usually bring this to my office um, in person so that I have some Christmas there. So I'm gonna set this to the side. I am not going to use this in the house, but I need to remember to bring it to work. And then these are from Target and these were awesome finds. So again, these are $10. I found these a few years ago. They have little pink houses. They actually are battery operated, which I probably have to change the batteries. Yeah, but the house lights up, super cute. I love little houses like this for Christmas time, like a modern village. I have more signs from Target. This one was $3. This is just a candy cane factory. Again, staying consistent with the pink theme. I got this little gnome guy from Target as well, I think, and I put him with the other things, but I love his little hat. A lot of people were making these this weekend at the craft um, retreat thing, so I should have probably made some of those. And then Target also has a lot of really great trees like this, if you guys are looking for things to put on your shelf, um, bookcases, entertainment centers. These are always really cheap and they last a very long time. Um, some other things that were popular last year that I'm going to use again this year were these trees. I talked about those. I'll get closer so you guys can see. I talked about these in my home goods shop with me if you guys haven't checked that out. These are really great though. I love putting these in the bathroom. And then it looks like I've got some other little things in here. More of these metallic reindeer. You guys kind of get the gist. I love metallics. And that is basically it. Moving on to some bins. I have these reefs that I bought last year. I think from Walmart these are, but we do reefs on all of our windows in the house and we put lights on them so you can see them. So I have, I think like 15 of these. So I'm gonna keep putting these to the side so we can get these done. One of my favorite Christmas things I've ever bought is this truck from Target. I think this was 20 bucks or maybe this was 30 bucks. 20 bucks, large truck. And I am a huge truck person. This is another thing I put all over the house for different seasons. I love the white pickup truck and the Christmas trees in the back. So we're gonna find a good spot for him. Moving on, I think this is more of my ornament bin. So I just have more of these wreaths that we will put in the windows and more wreaths. I forgot I made this awesome sign last year. This is actually one of my best Cricut projects. I can't believe I forgot this. This is so pretty. I did this with the Cricut. It says, baby, it's cold outside. My mom and I stained it and then painted the middle. I've got some really pretty holiday flowers on the top and some snowflakes. The board is from Michael's. Again, these are usually 30% off, so definitely wait to get a coupon or when they go on sale, but this is gonna be great for the front door. And it looks like now I am getting into everything for my tree. So I'm gonna save this box for when we decorate the tree together, but it is just filled with tinsel and garland and our little tree topper. I'm obsessed with him. But we've got all the ornaments from last year, so I'm gonna put this one to the side. Making my way to this next box. These huge boxes from Target are so helpful. They hold so much. So I showed you guys most of this stuff. I'm just gonna take some of the garland out. I showed you guys the house. And this is one of my favorite signs I got from 
Hobby Lobby for $19.99. I love keeping the tags on because then I can show you guys how much they were. But it's just this nice green one. It fits the theme that I was going with. It looks like an oversized tag. Lots of green and reds. More tinsel. This actually sits in our front window. So this is a little light up snowflake. The battery's going dead. Oh no, it's not. So it actually turns on and you can see it from our huge living room window. We're gonna get this plugged in. Table runner for our old table. This is very small. Our table is double the size now, but I think I can probably use this on an entertainment center. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And we have the cutest stockings ever. Honestly, I forgot about these. But I really love a faux fur. These are from Target. Again, I don't know how much they were. They probably have very similar ones this year. I love the little balls on them. They're like a whitish gray fur. I just have one for me and one for Tyler. These are very neutral and I feel like they fit every theme. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Trees. More reindeers. So this one, it looks like I put a little collar on him. Um, lots of metallics. Gosh, guys, I have so much. This is gonna take forever. This was another Target dollar spot find with the ski lodge. It matches the other stuff I was showing you guys. Um, I went a little crazy with the signs. I think this was $5, but this was a really good one. That was a cute theme they did last year. We'll have to go back and see what they have. Lights. These are the lights that I was telling you guys that go in the window. I think they're from Target or Walmart. I put them on the reefs. If you guys have better recommendations though, let me know down below. These are good, but I feel like some of them are broken, so they're not the best find. I wasn't super impressed last year. This is another Target find. I even put these on the doorways. It is just some a mistletoe. Again, a Target dollar spot. These also would be really cute on a tree. More ceramic white houses. These are just cute on any shelf, especially in the hallway. They're very neutral for your space. This is another sign I made actually with a group class. It is Cookies for Santa. I made this three years ago and it is essentially um, just classic Christmas colors. I like to put this out on the couch, like for drinks and things like that, but you could also make this into a really cute charcuterie or cookie board. This was a fun project. It was an expensive project but that was a really fun group class where we would stain and make the wood. And we'll think about some other random things. And then we have these awesome, messy, glittery signs that I also made at a class. So they're a set of three, if I can try to show you guys. It is like a Oh Holy Night church set. So it goes like this, you can prop them up somewhere. I'll hold them up so you guys can see. But I made these in a class, it was all stenciled. I love the white sparkly churches and I did a gray stain. This is a really good project if you guys are looking for one. More Target little trees. I love the flocked look. This one is really sparkly and cute. So lots of greenery trees was a really big theme for me last year. I got it from Target too, $3. That was a really good deal. St. Nick's Tree Farm. It's got little trees inside of it with a stained back. And then I got some of these guys for a shelf. These were a dollar at Target. Looks like this and this guy. So Target, obviously you guys can see is my favorite place to shop for Christmas decor. I feel like they have really affordable things and each year they come out with a theme. So last year was a lot of like the ski lodge and greenery. The year before was like the fun pink and white signs, but definitely check out the dollar spot if you guys need things because as you can see, I overly bought last year. So I just finished our little entertainment center and I want to show you guys what I did. I took that garland that lights up and I put it all along the top. I don't know if I love this yet because it kind of blocks the TV. So we're gonna have to see if this works, but I just love it, it's really pretty. And then looking downward, I kept it lots of greens and metallics and whites. So I have to get a new battery for this house to light up, but I've been mixing the little tinsel um, trees with wooden trees. I've got those signs. I still keep pictures up of my friends and I, Tyler and I. But over here, again, I just did the mixed trees with the metallic reindeers, houses, signs. I still need somewhere for this guy, but this is coming along really nicely. I like how neutral it is. And then going over here, I ended up doing this on the entertainment 
um, not entertainment center, I guess you could say, like we keep our special glass and games and stuff in here. So I just put the reindeer up on the Ikea picture shelves. Those are really easy to style. And then over here, I did that short table runner and I put the signs, I did some presents, some trees, and then keeping it super simple on the bar card, I just did a wooden reindeer with a tree. I really don't want it to be too cluttered or I would add this sign, but I like how this is looking so far. I still have so much stuff to clean up and put away, but it is definitely coming along nicely. I can't believe it's three o'clock already. I took a break from decorating to go to Aldi's to get our groceries for the week. I will bring you guys in with me if I see anything awesome for the holidays. I'm hoping that they've got some new stuff, but I love Aldi's. It is a little inconvenient because I feel like I always forget my bags, but I have my bags, I have a quarter, and let's go see what they have. They have all of their holiday stuff out. Lots of random good finds. Gnomes, villages. Looks so like we have some baking things. Really nice candles. And I thought these hand towels were super cute. I think I'm gonna get this one. I like the pink. Trees. And fun doormats. Very small Ollie's haul. Tyler's actually at Hannaford getting some things that I couldn't find. But for meat this week, we are going to be doing a center cut pork chop with some asparagus and sweet potatoes that Tyler is getting from Hannaford. I just completely forgot to grab those. We're going to do fish again, this time tilapia. We've been doing a lot of salmon poke bowls. So we're going to switch it up and do some tilapia with roasted Brussels sprouts and some jasmine rice that I already had from last week's haul for dinner tonight i'm gonna actually do a lasagna stew soup but my way i'm gonna try something different so i just got these lasagna noodles instead of ground beef i'm gonna do some hot italian sausage and then for the sauce i am making a mess guys i just did some tomato paste i'm actually gonna put in some chili beans chicken stock garlic i'm gonna do some pepper some onion and basil and let that simmer i showed you guys the brussels sprouts produce this week is going to be bananas we have some apples left over from the last haul and then i got some more mexican cheese we also are doing tacos this week we already had that stuff so i figured i'd pick up some more I did find these adorable containers at Aldi's. These were like $2.99. They're actually called giving or gifting containers, but I thought these would be really good for leftovers this month and next month as we get closer to Christmas. So I just picked up some of these and I got those towels I showed you guys. These were another good deal. I thought this was a really pretty color for the bathroom and it comes with two. I think these were like $3.99 and then I just picked up some dryer sheets I've never tried this brand before truthfully I didn't feel like going to another store so I just got these and then some aluminum foil and paper towels so little haul 62 bucks Tyler's getting Cheerios milk and sweet potatoes at the store that I forgot but I would say that is pretty good I just finished making our lasagna soup it's kind of like a chili and lasagna soup all together it's got the lasagna noodles hot Italian sausage ground beef uh, fiesta blend, cheese, chili beans, lots of different seasoning, parsley, thyme, basil, lots of garlic and tomato paste with some chicken stock. It looks delicious and we have plenty for leftovers, but this is going to be our easy quick dinner tonight. This basically took less than 30 minutes and it made a ton. I'm realizing I forgot to show you guys the shelf in the hallway. So I ended up dedicating this shelf to the ski lodge theme. I think it looks super cute and it doesn't stick out too much when you're walking. So I think it looks really good. Maybe I'll add some greenery if I can get a short piece of garlic. Dinner was absolutely amazing. We are cleaning up the house now, but I just wanted to conclude today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed starting the decoration process with me. I'm gonna be making another video dedicated to our trees. I did not get to those today just because it was literally the busiest day ever, but I'm happy that I got a few rooms done and I was able to take you guys with me. So other than that, do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.